Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review on a new powder. This one is the Milk Makeup Loose Setting Powder and this one is called the Blur and & Set. And they have three shades of this powder. The first one is the Deep Tone and then the Medium one and then the Light one is the one that I got myself. So I've been trying this one out with two different foundations. One that I have been really liking which is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And I've also been trying it with this one, which is the Do You by Too Faced. This is the one that I'm wearing today. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the packaging first, just in case you care about that. So this is the bottle right here, which looks very normal, just like any other powder. And then inside, it comes with this little sponge, which I did try to use, but it was just a regular sponge. So it's not really like anything different, anything that really changes anything so whenever you open this little lid up it has the little mesh net in there one of the reasons why they've started to put the little mesh is so that it doesn't get very messy but honestly i feel like it gets even more messy because i'm like trying to figure out how to take it out i'm trying to put it on the lid or trying to bang it and then open it and it gets everywhere so i still don't i don't feel like that little packaging way is it's working but anyways if i don't want it i'm just gonna end up taking off the entire top part so that is just the packaging something really like okay whatever you know if you don't care about that then you don't care so i've applied it like i said with two different foundations this one is the matte velvet skin foundation and it is a very full coverage foundation and i decided that i'm not going to be doing a lot of baking anymore i just i have been liking just applying a very light layer of powder why i have no idea but i like it and it's been working really good for me and it also depends on how the foundations are but I've been liking it. So I set my concealer and my foundation with this powder using this brush right here for the under eye area and this one all over my face. But I lightly just apply it. Now with the Makeup Forever foundation, I feel like it worked out perfectly. I don't see a lot of the blurring effect that this one says. Not with this foundation since it's so full coverage. I just feel like it sets the foundation in place and you know, it's good to go. Since the foundation is already full coverage, it's already making my skin look very flawless and i've also tried it with the Too Faced do you foundation which is the one that i'm wearing today so today i went ahead and i applied this foundation again and i set it with that now it doesn't give me any extra coverage it is completely translucent and it doesn't look as nice as it does with the makeup forever foundation now i do think that it does a good job with setting your foundation but if your foundation does not work with your skin then the the powder is not going to do anything for it. It's not going to make it look any better because like I said, I don't feel like it does any blurring effect and it for sure doesn't give you any extra coverage. And I say that because this Do You Foundation by Too Faced, it has not been working that great with my skin. I haven't been liking it that much. I just feel like there's something in the formula that just didn't work with my dry skin. I feel like it makes it look really flaky. So whenever I apply the powder on top, it looks just a little bit worse. And that's the only thing I can say because with the Makeup Forever one, I felt like it was a really, really good combination. So I think it does a good job with setting because also by the end of the day, the makeup still looks really good. Now, not that it stays completely matte all day because it doesn't, but with this foundation in particular, I don't feel like it looks cakey or that it looks, you know, any flakiness or anything. When with this one, as soon as I apply the powder, it looks, it doesn't look that great. So I'm going to show you some close-ups right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm also going to be doing a review on this one to give you a little bit more information on the foundation. But you can see the close-up right there. It just looks kind of dry. Like around my mouth, it looks a little dry. On my cheeks, right here, it looks a little dry. And also on my forehead. So I think it has to do with what foundation you use. So the powder, just speaking on the powder alone, I think it does a good job with setting. I think it is a very nice setting powder, but I don't think it's anything different than what you probably already use. So I wouldn't say that it's amazing and that you need it. One thing that might be different from this brand and all the other brand of foundations, if you really want to know a difference, is probably looking at the ingredients and seeing maybe what the first ingredient ingredient is or what works for your skin and what doesn't. So that could be something you know to look at if you're looking for different foundations i mean if you're looking for different powders so i'm going to show you some other ones i went ahead and i grabbed some some powders that i like but i don't feel like they're very different from each other or that they give a different effect or anything like that so this one's good i like it it works for my skin this one is too this is the hourglass veil and then the Laura Mercier translucent powder, the regular original one. And then other powders that are too dry for my skin or that give flashback or that look a little too white is like the Tarte Shape Tape, 
the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake and the ColourPop Translucent. So I mean, there are differences in these two categories that I put out. Like this, these over here, I feel like look too white look too dry on me and things like that do i need all three no they're not that different for me to say i need the laura mercier one for this and i need this one for this particular reason and this one for this particular reason so no if you don't already have your favorite then i would recommend hey try one of these these work for me i like them so with that being said i might not need to buy any new loose powders anymore if there's another one that comes out that looks pretty interesting to me then i will but other than that i think i'm gonna I think I'm gonna stay away from buying loose powders since I feel like I already have some pretty good ones that I can use. So like I said, I don't feel like you need to go out and buy this and like, you know, forget about all the other loose powders. It is really lightweight. It doesn't look white on my skin. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is pretty much it for this review. I hope it wasn't too confusing. You know, I was just trying to get my point across that you don't need to have it if you ask me is the milk makeup translucent powder good i'd say yes this one's good but so are these other two so that is pretty much it for today's review i hope you guys found it helpful somehow i hope it wasn't too confusing and yeah so i will see y'all in my next video bye